Hello and welcome to Scripting with VGZ. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to teleport between two games. To do that, we're first going to add in a part from the workspace. Insert part, like so. This part will be the part that teleports us to another game. So when the player steps on the part, it will automatically teleport. But first, we got adding a script. So we're just going to do insert object script like so and we're going to type local teleport service equals game get service and we're going to get the teleport service simple step but make sure api services are enabled since this is an api service next we are going to define the destination the so local teleport destination equals and we're going to set it to the place ID so to do that we are going to go to Chrome and we are going to pick a game that we want to teleport to for example we are going to pick murder mystery as it's recommended down here so we're going to get the ID up here we're going to copy this number and we're going to paste it back in, like so. And next, we are going to define a function based off the actual touching part. Like, this function will define what happens when the player actually steps on the part. So to do that, we're going to do a local function, on part touch, that's just the name of the function, other part, that's the parameter. And we're going to set a, f a parameter, I mean, a variable named player. To do that, we're just going to do game.players. And we're going to get the player from character, which is the humanoid that's uh, scripting the player. So that's basically what this function is. Get player from character. It's just the humanoid that the player is in. And now we're going to define if player then teleport service we're going to teleport nope wrong teleport uh we're going to teleport to teleport destination that's what we're going to teleport and who are we going to teleport the player. So now that's set up, we should be ready to go. Make sure no typo mistakes. Nope, no red underlines. Okay. The very last thing we're going to do is we are going to make sure that the function is executed just by using a simple uh, command loop and a t uh, connect connect function right here. And we're just going to connect on part touch, which is this function up here. Now that we are ready to go, we should be able to test, but not in Roblox Studio. Unfortunately, you must publish this game to test the teleport service, as you cannot play Murder Mystery on your Roblox Studio thing. So we're going to just go up here, we click File, we click to Publish to Roblox. And it should should be done. So now we're just going to go to our browser. And oh, yeah, we're still on Murder Mystery. Let's go back to our game right here. Teleport tutorial. And we, we're going to play it. So when we play it, we should be able to teleport from this game to Murder Mystery by touching the part. So I believe we spawn right next to... Yep, there's the part. And when we walk on it, we should be able to teleport up to murder mystery and voila there we go so basically that's how the teleport service works uh i'm just gonna exit murder mystery for now because we really don't want to play that right now but that's ba the basics of teleport service you do. just gotta make sure that uh this it's pretty simple just make sure that you get the right service. For example, 
because I almost type something else, like for example, this service. We go, we do not know what this service is, and we do not care about that service. So we gotta make sure that you type the correct one. Sometimes even this service is different. So we gotta make sure it's Tangle Port service, and everything else should be fine. Just make sure we do get player from character. That's also a pretty important line, and make sure to do nine uh line. 11 so that we uh we connect the player to the parent which is the part shown here so if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see ya